Hello everyone, welcome to UpTalk channel. In this tutorial video, we are going to discuss Oracle Fusion HCM. Before we start the video let's know about UpTalk. UpTalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. Let's know about Oracle Fusion HCM. Oracle Human Capital Management, HCM, is cloud-based software that helps businesses manage employee data. It is a complete HR management system that helps businesses manage their employees better. The topics we will cover in this video are Introduction and Overview on ERP To know more about the latest and trending technologies, watch other videos on the UpTalk channel. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel to know more about new technologies. This video will be covered by Ms. Romeo. When we are talking about uh, Fusion application, we have, uh, we have the concept called Global HR. In Global HR, we are going to talk about the user interface, functional setup manager, what is geographies, what is enterprise structure configurator, what are reference data sets, what is... Uh, enterprise XCM information enabled position synchronization, what is legal entity, legal address, and grades, grade rates, and uh, employee uh, dating ESS and MSS, that is employee self service, manager self service. Then we talk about absence management. So, whatever it is written in bold now, that is important. That actually the gold, uh, the second module, second first module was global HR, second is is absence management then we have work shift work pattern accrual plans absence plans accrual plan participation eligibility profiles drive factors absence plans and payroll qualifications plans rate definitions absence management setup framework compensatory plan donation plan and absence certification and in payroll third model is payroll what we are going to cover in payroll we have the pay frequencies payroll definitions time definitions and in payroll elements we have element overview input value values variable rules payroll reductions and element entries balances balance definitions fast formulas calculate payroll what is the event groups what is payment methods personal payment methods third party payment methods payroll costing payroll calculations all these things we are going to discuss in okay. composition we have individual composition workforce composition so in composition is a different module okay the individual okay. workforce composition then we, if I go fast, just let, if you don't understand anything, because if you are, we have just started off the training, so you would not be able to understand many things. So once we go ahead, we'll, uh, we'll, you will be able to catch up later, many things. Okay. 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 Then we have goal and performance management. We have uh, um, uh, goal and performance management. We have fusion talent management, content library, content types, rating models, profile types, instant qualifiers, talent profiles, and review period, goal library, tonnage management, goal management, goal plans, goal plan sets, and uh, approving goals, questionnaires, questionnaire templates, creating questionnaires, performance management, performance templates, eligibility profiles, performance documents, work evaluations. Then we have time and labor. It's a different module. Uh, what is the time labor? It is managing elements and creating customer time life, time life attribute, value sets, depending time periods, layout sets, Time rules and rule sets. So all these things. Are... So this is the introduction actually. So I'll I will not uh, uh, just give the introduction today. And this is the module that we are going to cover. And uh, this is the agenda. This is the introduction. And uh, today is only one uh, part of the training is discussed. So like uh, today is what what is the discussion all about? It is like. Uh, SaaS and FaaS application, inbound integration, what is outbound integration, what is REST web services, so what is thing, that are the thing, what are the things that we are going to discuss today. Okay. Uh, and skills required to learn cloud ERP, what are the skills required to learn, so uh, all the things we are going to discuss and uh, one by one and uh, we are going to uh, talk about architecture, then product families, then what are the sub products, what is the middleware, what is the useful uh, link we have and what is the thing that we are going to and the cloud deployment options. So all okay. these things we are going to discuss one by one. Okay. Uh, 
ओके ओके सो when we talk about the all cloud erp it's an uh, uh, so little theoretical will be there i will not do the practical no i didn't understand that uh, i will i will not do the practical part because at certain two for two days the theory will be there that is what is its architecture what is the what is the, uh, the architecture what is the product families what is the uh, 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 what we call what we call it the Uh, fam product families. What are the things? What are the product families? What are the uh, different architecture? What is the thing? So these are things that. What is the difference between e EBS and Fusion? What are the technology changes we find? So all these things we are going to see in Fusion application. Ha. Huh. When we talk about the skills that is required to learn Cloud ERP, so we have Fusion ERP, we have Oracle eBusiness Suite. So when we have Oracle Fusion ERP, we have BI Publisher, SQL, PL, SQL. and for e business suite we have xml publisher rdf reports all these things are there and in in fusion we have erp we have otbi and e business suite we have discover sql and interface and conversions we have fvda that is file based data import and sql lib and uh, we have uh, interface and conversions we have adf desktop integration and in this e business suite we have web adi in 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 cloud erp we have bi reports all about web services and in as in e business suite we have web services rose soap and rush web services so all these things there is a difference between that then cloud component name when we talk about forms then we have the add of java service pages in fusion erp in oracle e business suite we have oracle forms in workflow we have oracle bpm amx in e business suite we have oracle workflow ame extensions we have page composer e business suite we have forms personalization component name we have geography teams And in cloud ERP we have ESS enterprise schedule services, and in business suite we have concurrent programs. So all these things are there. So what is Fusion application? When we describe as Fusion application, what is this? We uh, Fusion application is based on open standard platform. Open standard means it has functional part and technical part both. Okay. Okay. It is based on business processes. That means it is based on Oracle e business suite, PeopleSoft, Jadir, but see these are the business processes. and it is deployed through option deployed through options means it has a public cloud and it has private cloud public cloud means it has a uh, it has a public cloud and private cloud public cloud means when you have i will late in the later slides i will teach you what is public cloud and private cloud okay 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 uh, friend uh, app application architecture so what is this application architecture all about uh, front front user interface application server and desktop server the front user interface we have front end user interface we have oracle we have the uh, front user that is the ui part user okay. application server we have the back end somewhere between the front end and the back end so desktop server we have the uh, we have the front end the ui part then okay. oracle application student fusion product families product families are what product families are the hr financials procurement inventory All these are product families. Fusion middleware okay. we have what we have middleware somewhere between the front end and the back end. And database we have the back end that is PLSQL. Okay. Okay. Database so you know now what is that? Uh, we have to write the PLSQL oh. queries. So product families. What are product families? Product families are human capital management, enterprise resource planning, supply chain management, enterprise performance management, customer service, industry solutions. So what is human capital management? We have global HR. We have Talent management. We have HCM Cloud for mid-size enterprise resource planning. What we have financials, revenue pro uh, uh, project, financials, procurement, and all these things are there. Supply chain management. We have inventory management, manufacturing order management, master data supply chain planning, and enterprise performance. We have different different data modeling and all these financial reporting structures there. Customer experience. We have market sales and sales service. Industry solutions. We have automatic customer products, retail, education, research, and healthcare. So all these things are product families, which are there in the Oracle product families. We have all these things in the product families. Okay. So when we talk about human capital management, you can see human capital management. One that can be loaded into into this whole product, Oracle Fusion application sub products. Okay. Okay. 
all these things are talent management, recruiting, onboarding, performance management. All these things are there. Workforce management, time management, absence management. All these things are into the into this. <clears throat> okay. So sub products are work rewards, payroll compensation, workforce class. We have my brand management, my wellness, my competition. All these things are there. <clears throat> Talent management, recruiting, onboarding, performance management, career and succession planning. All these things come under human capital management. Fusion middleware. Fusion middleware is what we have. Fusion middleware, extension for application user interface, additional flex field, ha, database, and the somewhere between the front end and the database. So okay. in, we have, in when we talk about the architecture, middleware also comes into play. So middleware is what it is somewhere between the front end and the back end. So we have application development framework, Oracle BI tablet, Oracle's web center portal, Oracle web center content, Oracle data integrator, Oracle entity management, Oracle HTTP server. Or a web logic communication services. So all these things comes under the middleware components. Okay. Can you? Uh, <coughs> you can see the sites that are that are given by Oracle to go to the sites and get your get yourself help. Whatever help you can get, you can copy this link and you can oh. copy this link and post on the URL and then you can see the differences that you have. You can see the differences that you can make when you are uh, talking about health and uh, fusion health resources. And we're okay. talking about uh, doc, when we talk about the docs.oracle.com. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then we have product families. So we have um, human capital, financial, project recruitment, customer relationship management, supply chain management. These are the product families. Usual middleware, we have application development framework. And then we have application web logic server, fusion application schema, and middleware schema. Okay. What is cloud deployment options? When you talk about the cloud deployment options, we have three options. My software package, uh, somewhere which is, you can see at the down blue is managed by me and red is managed by the vendor. So one, what are the things that are written in blue is managed by me. When we talk, talk about my software package, all the things are managed by me. That is the, my application data runtime, middleware, everything is managed by me. When you talk about the infrastructure as a service, we talk about my application, data, runtime, middleware, operating system. These things are managed by me, and server storage and networking is managed by the vendor. Okay. When you talk about the my service, my application, my data is managed by me, and rest of the things are, are going to be managed by the by whom? By the vendor. The vendor. And usually, this is the SaaS. SaaS part is what? Software as a service. My application, data, runtime, everything is managed by the vendor. Nothing okay. is managed by. So when we talk about fusion application, this is the thing that we have. So what is SaaS? Okay, SaaS platform as a service. Software as a service. Software as a service. Okay. Usually, fusion application. It is an interview question. Also, it will ask like everywhere. It it is asked where do fusion app uh, uh, fusion HCM play plays a role. So it is played a role. Uh, like what is the cloud deployment option? So you will say it is the. Fusion application uses software as a service, that is SaaS as a service. Okay. Not platform as a service. Okay. 